Now again we have a CBSE previous year question 2011 question. It says find the probability distribution of number of aces when three cards are drawn from a pack of 52 cards. So if you have 52 playing cards, there is three cards which you are going to take out, three cards that you are going to take out and you have to find the probability distribution of the number of aces. So let's see how to do it. So this time it is different from the previous question. You have not been given the probability distribution, rather you have to frame it yourself. So see, how many aces are usually there and how many cards you have to draw out. Aces usually are four, right? And you have to draw out three cards. So what are the different cases possible? The first is the condition when you see that no ace is drawn. If no ace is drawn, we denote it like this, x is equal to 0. That means whatever the three cards are drawn out are from the uh, non-ace section. So that means they are from the 48 remaining cards. So 48 c3 over 52 c3. Now what will be the calculation come like that you can do on your own. This will come to be 4324 over 5525. This you can do on your own. Now next, when we say that probability x is equal to 1, that means 1 ace is drawn and 2 non-ace cards are taken out. Then what happens? From 1 ace that you are going to draw, so it is 4c1, multiply by the rest. So 48c2 over 52c3. So what will the calculation for this come out to be like? It will be I am sorry, it should be 1128, so it will be 1128 over 5525, right? Because this 52C3 gives me 5525. Now next, probability X is equal to 2. That means 2 cards you are going to take out from the ace section and 1 you are going to take out from the non-ace section of cards. So 2 cards from the ace, that means 4C2 and 1 from non-ace category, so that is 48C1 over 52C3. So what will be the calculation for this? This will yield to me 72 over 5525. Now last but not the least, I say that Px is equal to 3. That means I have all the 3 from ace category only. So what will be the answer for this? 4C3 over 52C3. Now 4C3 is actually equal to 1. And 52C3 is 5525. Now, if you leave your answer here after all the solution, this will not give you all of the marks because you have to leave it in the probability distribution form. So, what will be the probability distribution format? It will be simply you write here x, you write here p of x, you write here 0, 1, 2, 3. And in the P of X, when P of 0, you were supposed to find out, this was 4324 over 5525. Similarly, you can give it as X is equal to XI format also. Here it was the next 1128 over 5525. For, 70, uh, for this one, it was 72. So 72 over 5525. And last but not the least, 1 over 5525. Five. Now if you add all these up, although the answer is complete, I want you to know the method to check whether you have done the correct solution or not. If you add all these, you will get 1 and that is what is the funda of probability distribution. Adding all these possible cases gives you 1 and that completes your question for this.